Rally tonight, Bayonne is calling for more attention to the animals and less politics. It was published in the Jersey Journal that he will be bringing these animals to Cliffside Park. A public relations person then claimed that he is no longer the operator of that facility. Well, I'm sorry, but seeing is believing, and Mr. Ascalese is still bringing animals there. Brian and Roxanne, those animal lovers gathered here with their signs and tons of frustration. They say the city is turning its back on its animals. Now all of the animals who are picked up as stray, domestic animals in the city of Bayonne, are going to be taken to another facility. We have yet to have any documentation as to where that animal shelter is. We don't know the conditions. We don't know the number of animals that are able to be housed there. politically connected plus I have animals of my own so in case one gets lost I want to be able to find it. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed. I didn't realize that the council already made the decision. I felt that they did it behind the public's back. A lot of people are very disappointed with the council. Everyone's very unhappy with them. There is no transparency. Everybody thinks that the Liberty Humane Society should remain in effect. And they just went behind our backs and voted in another company that has all sorts of problems. Now they're just trying to pass the buck. They're not doing their research on what's really going to happen to these animals. Mr. Santini's response to the RFP contains incomplete information and requirements that were either not met or not included as required by the RFP by the time the contract was awarded. The shelter has the capacity to house 45 cats and 40 dogs. Even if we do choose to believe this is where Bayonne animals will be going, there is not sufficient capacity to house Bayonne stray animals. Several other residents also expressed their dissatisfaction with Bayo leaving behind LHS. Mr. Santini and his company, NJACR, will not follow the best practices for municipal animal control in New Jersey. He has had many conversations with Mr. Santini, including the fact that the cats that were supposed to be brought from the Fort Lee facility to Bloomfield disappeared and no one has any record of these animals. A board trustee of the organization, known only as, quote, Mr. Santini, hired an attorney to oppose any further investigation into the SPCA's records, finances, and treatment of animals. My concern is simple. LHS is closer. <laughs> LHS is bigger. This is only the beginning of Mr. Santini's involvement with subpar animal sheltering facilities. The council weighed in on the subject. It is a contract. There are goals that they have to meet, and we will hold them to it. And I would make the recommendation to rescind this contract 